Hello and welcome to a special one-off video here on the bonus points. Uh, yet unnamed idea I've got. So hopefully we can come up with a name. Can we have a series called it? Unnamed One-Offs that we always end up making three of? <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing about this one is I've set it up so that we can do two if we like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another one of our one-offs. <laughs> but now it's still a one-off. It's still a one-off for now. Uh, so, Joe, I need you to have a look at the Miro board. Okay. Uh, sorry, our tier list, our usual tier list thing that we see. I've made something new. Okay, I can see a um, higher, highest rated, rated meta score and lowest rated meta score. Yes, so I've picked some games from our list, and they're not at random. I don't know if you can tell me why I've picked those ones. Uh, it's quite obscure, so you might not be able to. <laughs> so I can see, I mean, it seems to be a lot. Are, are they like the top and bottoms of the list? or No, no, they're not. No, 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 no. I don't no, know why you picked them. It's like, like a that. weird selection. I've just picked every even number. Oh, okay. So if you want to do it like, one, we can I was, pick every I was like number. really <laughs> thinking about what links these specific games. Oh, like randomness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sure you can guess at this point what it is you're going to be doing. So, we're going to, um, what? We're going to be guessing what their meta score is? Well, you're going to be guessing. I've got them written down. Okay. Oh, great. So, I want to see if you can now. rate them or like rank them in order of highest to lowest okay and then afterwards i can tell you whether or not you're right and i'll give you some clues and you can have some swaps and things like that so yeah i don't um, need to get like guess exact numbers <clears throat> just the the order of them yeah and because of the way i've done this table because in order to be able to see these you kind of have to do them like this so like as long as the top half is in <laughs> okay but maybe i'm gonna like they're a, bit, they're a bit bigger if i think they're quite close i'm gonna like line them up a bit more <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I think okay. There's, a, there's a gap. Um, Metacritic's yeah, I, like funny because it's not like rank the best games because obviously the Metacritic score is from the era the game was released in. So like you could yep. look at a, like an old like the old God of War games got like as good a meta score as the current ones because they were amazing in their day, but it doesn't mean they're as good as the new ones. So it's a bit difficult. Yeah, I can also give you another clue in that I've for every game that's released on multiple platforms, I've picked the highest score. Okay. So that might help you. I don't know. <laughs> That's going to help you or not. <laughs> I think it might be good to start with what you think is the highest and what you think is the lowest. Yeah, I think that's a smart way to do it. So I think highest yeah. has... Oh, so Last of Us... So I'm assuming this is all critical. <laughs> Metacritic, not not user. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe if we do, do another Last one, we could do user score. <laughs> oh my... That would be so funny, because I think Last of Us Part 2 would probably be the bottom of the whole list for user and top potentially, for, yeah. for critic. Um, yeah, potentially. So I think Last of Us has got to be top, right? Uh, so be. if you want to put that at the very top, it would be up. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, one second. <laughs> I just ate an apple really quick. <laughs> Please cut out my gulping. <laughs> <laughs> Please um, amplify your gulping. <laughs> <laughs> Please loop your gulping. Um, right, so then bottom... Oh, see, like, yeah, I feel like Beyond Good and Evil, I feel like it got quite good reviews. I mean, that's the reason I chose it is because I knew it was like a bit of like a, a darling game. I kind of think Enslaved yeah. might be lower, you know. So you think out of all of those, the very bottom one would be Enslaved? Oh, wait, no, Ty. I didn't see Ty. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I did. So I did see. Ty was like, you know, when it's like, um, so I was at a comedy show last night, and you know, when they try and do like, yeah. like interactions with the audience. Ty was doing oh, yeah. what I was doing all night, where I'm just like, look, like <laughs> don't look interesting, don't look at me, or like when the teachers like asking the class, does anyone know the answer? And they're like, that, that's what Ty was doing that whole time. <laughs> okay, and then. So th I'm not. Can I can I say lock in when I'm locked in? This is all just spitballing here, right? You, we're not. We're not going to do anything until you're ready. So you just okay. even if you want to just you. put them all on there and then move them all around, that's also fine. Right. Okay. Then I think um, Sla Enslaved's going to be there. Yeah. I think Yoshi's it's Island's kind of... going to be surprisingly high. Uh. Okay. Yep. Can I read your reactions? Is that part of the game? <laughs> Uh, you could try. So Yoshi's Island is a bit of an anomaly. That's all I can say. Ah, uh, okay. I'm. I'll put it in the middle. 
<laughs> because you've scared okay. me off by okay. your reaction. Yeah. Halo Infinite, that got very good reviews. Because I was surprised at how good <laughs> it reviewed yeah. compared to like my playing experience. Do you generally use Metacritic or not? Um sometimes like i don't like it, it it won't stop me playing a game if it's low or high mm. but sometimes it's mm -hmm. kind of handy for like a oh there's this game i've not heard on on game pass if on metacritic it's like 50 like it's probably mm. not worth it you know um, okay not worth yeah. the download <laughs> the free well, download. well as well when they release like like so many games every month that are great like it's mm -hmm. it's you know mm -hmm. like these games are never in like isolation yeah Okay. Um, sorry, I'm being slow here, but this is difficult. No, no, don't. No, take your time. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So let's uh, let's tackle Skyrim. That's got to be high up, right? Yeah. I I mean, I'm not saying yet, yeah, as in it is high up, but it, it, it is high up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Skyrim up here. I think that might be the the next one. It's hard because normally in these kind of things, I'd be like talking with you and being like, "What do you reckon?" <laughs> but you can't really. You can like... still talk with me. I won't. I won't give anything away. <laughs> okay. All I'm gonna say is, remember, I picked the best version of each game. Yeah. So that, that's gonna be like PC version of Skyrim. Surely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I it's, it's foolishly got... forgot to write down which versions each of these scores yeah. relate to, but some we of them can... I could remember. We can usually assume if it's on PC, it's talking about the PC version. <laughs> it's normally yeah. the way it goes. Uh, yeah. Death Stranding yeah. might be a funny Tricky one because that was um, divisive. I think that's going to be lower half. Yeah. Des despite our personal views on it, I think that's going to be lower because I was even um, chatting to you yesterday about how like unreasonable comments are about like like. IGN reviews and stuff and saying, well, you gave this mm, game an eight mm. and this game a nine, even though it's like different reviewers and stuff. But yeah. that IGN review of Death Stranding really did make me angry for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, another thing about Metacritic is that it's pretty hard to get above 90 because not a lot of reviews systems use the whole 100 point scale. Yeah. So in order to be above 90, they'd have to give it a 10. So yeah. it's quite hard to get above 90. So that might be something as well to think about. Yeah, absolutely. But I feel like Last of Us Part Two, if if any game was for the critic reviews, yeah. that would be up there. Yeah, Killer Seven. I feel oh, like even divisive. in it, <laughs> yeah, and and divisive. Like it doesn't matter if it got a bunch of nines because if it gets one seven, because you know they played the game and saw how it controls. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna burn it. I think that actually, because in terms of the spread, I think that's gonna be quite low down. Okay. And then, oh, pray, oh, pray, super low, because there was that. I think it was IGN again. Their review, they yeah. like their game broke, and so they gave it like a three or something, didn't they? But did they? Did they not correct it? They, I think they did like a, a different. I think they did like a separate review for like a PC version or something. But mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. are, they published the review, and it's still up their review where they gave it a super low score, and it tanked Metacritic because Arcane said that that's why they think the sales weren't great on the game. Oh wow! Okay. Do you think that's so going to be? Don't... Yeah, so I've that... I might put that down like in slave level as much I as it hurts me. I thought there was some game that they updated the review and Metacritic changed it, and it was the first time they'd ever done it. Maybe. I don't think I don't know if it was Prey. Maybe it was Forza. I seem to think it's a Forza game. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's tricky because it's like, I mean reviews are so weird now because games come out and then they're completely different in two years but then that original mm -hmm. score stands but so like are you reviewing its release or are you reviewing what it is now um, yeah yeah it's a weird one right world of warcraft super old one. one once a, yeah yeah i guess it's like i'm thinking about what it was like when it launched mm. i don't really mm -hmm. i don't really know how it was received like right at like launch you know like pre-launch really because I mean, how do you review that game with like no one else playing it <laughs> Well, also, though, it was like a cultural phenomenon, wasn't it? So, like, it was huge. And a good yeah. review score will do that. I wonder if that's, like, first month rather than, like, when embargo lifts, though. Mm. I mean, it's going to be mm. top half. I'm, I'm going to put it, like, I'm going to put it under Halo Infinite. Shocking yeah. me. I'm going to give you another clue. Okay. The highest rated game on here is a 94, and the lowest is okay. 70. The lowest is 70. So maybe that can... 
Okay. Get your, the tie's doing all right there. At least a 70. Yeah, it is. Not too yeah, bad. Yeah, it's doing all so, right. So, I mean, yeah. 94, um, God of War, like the first remake of God of War, that got a 94. I remember that because mm. I watched a video about that earlier. So, it's kind of that level. Ratchet and Clank, like, I bet it was like a very undecisive game, like, divisive. I bet that got like just solid eights, high, high to mid eights. Like, um, yeah. And that might help it more than a game that scored higher, but also lower. But I think Halo Infinite will be a bit more above it. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put Ratchet and Clank above World of Warcraft yeah. and uh, under Halo. Then Mr. Driller. Okay. So people people reviewed Mr. Driller. They've got enough reviews in order to get well, a better Well, don't forget score. it got a HD remake, right? So it's on a lot of consoles. <laughs> it just came out quite okay. recently. Yeah. Once again, we no one's giving it a bad score. No. But surely it can't be above Yoshi's Island. Can it be above Death Stranding? <laughs> I mean, this is... I'm thinking of... Well, yeah, because Death Stranding got loads of really bad reviews. Yeah. Yep. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking it's not just because of your reaction now, though. Yeah, no, 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 but no. I'm, just... I'm trying not to give you anything away. I'm not trying... I just noticed that the list that I wrote, I've put some of them in the wrong order and I've just reordered all of them. So. Okay. I like, did it when I, I got I back from the pub like... last night, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think Death Stranding's like lowest score will be way lower than Mr. Driller because like Death Stranding got like sevens and stuff and like so I think it mm-hmm. got a six from IGN I think it got like it got you know super but low score aren't some outlets weighted more on Metacritic so if they are a bigger outlet and a bigger outlet might not cover Mr. Driller yeah yeah possibly I'm not really sure how it how it works mm. there's a lot of factors at play here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is tricky, right? Yeah. So, th- is this the is this the PS2 version of Onimusha? Can I at least know that, or is this like uh, the, it's HD the HD remake? It's the HD remake. It's the HD remake. Yeah. See, I feel like the HD remake might hurt it a little bit because yeah. is it the HD it, remake? Do you know, what, let me just double check that. I think it was the HD remake. But I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, because the HD remake shows its age more, and also I think it's probably a little bit worse because the camera zoomed in more. Which was one of the biggest problems anyway, because of the. Oh no! This the is the PS2. This is the PS2 original. So this might be higher, I reckon. Then w- would it be above Death Stranding though? No, I don't think so, because it it came out like after Resident Evil and stuff, which I think was yeah. better. Yeah. So I think I I think like it at its time it had points of comparison that were better, and I reckon Onimusha Two is probably higher than it. I think it came out in two thousand and one, so pretty early. Yeah. Like a year into the PST's life. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it here in between. I'm gonna put it above Killer Seven and under Death Stranding. And then we just got our mate Jade here. Where does uh where does she belong? So I reckon like this is a solid like low eights when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there's a lot of reviews that like really wanted to like it because it was like kind of a bit artsy for its time and there wasn't much mm-hmm. of that. And critics loved that. Mm-hmm. That's a good angle. But maybe, yeah. So maybe like right in the middle of the pack. Because we here. were talking about it in the episode about how it was like critically acclaimed and we <laughs> didn't understand. <laughs> yeah, that's why I chose that's why I chose it. I mean it was it's very ambitious, I guess. Yeah. And it was like at a time when that's like games were like, we're gonna be cinematic like a movie and immersive and so you know, like that's what mm. that was like the gold standard was like being like this more appreciated genre was like like the, yeah. the gold standard and it was going yeah. for that. Um but then just the gameplay was awful. <laughs> yeah. So are you locking it in? Are you happy? No, not yet. Let me let me do okay. I'm gonna run down. Okay. So Last of Us Part Two, I'm pretty sure about that one. Okay. And and then I'm like I think seventy percent sure on Skyrim, unless I get unless World of Warcraft surprises me and that's right up there as well. That that might be a yeah. Let's 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 put World of Warcraft up a bit. Put that above Ratchet and Clank. Does it overtake Halo? Halo got shockingly good reviews. And World of Warcraft's <laughs> just a bit of a it's just a wild card because it's so old and I can't really remember that yeah. time very well. Like so, I just don't know. Was it appreciated day one? Yeah, I'm going to put it above it. I'm going to probably end up regretting it. I'm going to put World of Warcraft above Halo Infinite. Yeah. This is a crazy list compared to our list, right? (laughs) Yeah, it's so weird. So I guess Last of Us Part 2 is kind of in the right place, but... (laughs) Yeah. And I'm I'm pretty sure about the tie at the bottom. Right, let's go... Let's change it. Let's go bottom up now. So tie there. And slay... Oh, I I might switch Prey and Enslaved around, I think. Yeah. 
I'm going to switch them around. You, I'm going to give you another clue. Okay. Between the top four games, there's only three points. There's only three in between them. There's only three points between the top four games on the list. So there's quite a few doubles on this as well that are like two, exactly the same. Yeah. So Yoshi's Island, I thought would be super high because like it's so amazing. Mm-hmm. But like, I just wonder, would it be a bit underappreciated at its time from critics as like baby game and like... Well, remember like, I said it... it's an anomaly. So. Yeah, but that could go either way. Yeah. I wonder, was it around at like the dawn of like 3D, proper 3D games? And so, you know, I know like Castlevania Symphony of the Night was underappreciated in its day because yeah. it wasn't 3D. It was the time that it came out is important to this, basically, without giving it away too much. Because it was, it was super late SNES, right? So I yeah, wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the last SNES platformers. Yeah, so it's probably close to like Mario sixty four, and you could imagine if you'd never played a three D game, and you're like seeing Mario sixty four. Yeah, maybe it will go down a bit lower. I feel like that's me completely from reading you rather than my thoughts. But... Okay. Uh, I'm not going to put it under Death Stranding though. Okay, so that will go there. Enslaved above prey. Yeah, I feel like Enslaved reviewed like fine, but it kind of like built its hype over time rather than yeah. it like reviewing great right out the gate it built its hype over time and it shouldn't have done <laughs> it probably had a <laughs> okay, actually no I'm not <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh dear I put, I put it above prey I, I swear you just did this whole list just to, to force me to do that <laughs> just to go like see <laughs> I did it I did um, to be fair I did originally think mission? about doing every odd number you're starting with number one, obviously, but then I saw that Prey was number four, and I was like, oh, I will do even number six. <laughs> oh, really? Just to hurt me. <laughs> so I think um, Onimusha above Killer Seven, just because Onimusha came out earlier, even though they're the same generation, it probably yeah. got more of a of a pass than Killer Seven, which you know, games had worked out camera and shooting and stuff by the time Killer Seven mm-hmm, had came out, mm-hmm. so it might yeah, have hurt yeah. a bit more. Death Stranding, I don't want to go any higher than that because I know it did get some low review scores. Yoshi's yeah. Island, you scared me to put it down. Beyond Good and Evil, see, it feels right in the middle where it belongs. Yeah, and yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm happy with it now. I think this is, okay. uh, I'm going to lock it in. So I can tell you that you've got the games in the right areas, like top, middle, and bottom. You're kind of right, okay, mostly, but they're not in the right order at all. I don't think a single, except for Ty, I don't think a single one is in the right place. <laughs> It was what's it was, what's top? Is it World of Warcraft or Skyrim? So I'm gonna do it now, and you can watch. Okay. Oh, it is Skyrim. I'm gonna do the top, gonna do the top four, so you can see. And it is World of Warcraft. Wow. See none. See none. That's not shocking in any way. Oh, you scared me to put it down. So the anomaly <laughs> about Yoshi's me. Island. You were saying, oh yeah, when it came out, was it critically acclaimed or whatever? Metacritic didn't exist when Yoshi's Island came out. So only the Switch oh, version so... has been reviewed. Oh, uh, so that's got it high because there's the yeah. nostalgia factor. Uh, yeah, it's at, uh, I should have, it's I should at, have uh, ignored you. It's at 91 on, on Metacritic. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so we've got 94 for Skyrim, uh, 93 for WoW, 93 for Last of Us 2, and uh, 91 for Yoshi's Island. I love the way that they both got 93, but you arranged them to make me look more wrong than I was. <laughs> you <laughs> you could have left them the, the right way around. <laughs> there you go. You can have them both together. Um, right. Shall I reveal the next ones? Yeah, go on then. So we've got Halo Infinite. And okay. Beyond Good and Evil. Ooh, that's the biggest one I got wrong then. <laughs> yeah. So what, what were they on? 87. Wow, Both on 87, mad. which is crazy. And then we have, from all the way down here at the bottom, on Emusha, which is on an 86, okay. which is crazy high, I think. Yeah, that's too high. That's to, probably uh, the early PS2 generation. Yeah, so it sits next door to Death Stranding, which is also on an 86. That's when so you, funny. When we, we play these games, and when you look at the meta score, it is a bit like, what is Metacritic? Like... Yeah, I mean, it's different eras, that's the thing. Like, the fact that they're, le- like, I mean, Death Stranding's too low and Onimusha's way too high, but they're <laughs> yeah. just somehow met in this, like, gross middle. <laughs> yeah, and I think Beyond Good and Evil is is way too high. Way too high. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, then after that, we've got uh, 
Ratchet and Clank, 2016. Then we have Enslaved. Okay. At 82, right next door to Prey, which is also at 82. So not anywhere near as oh, low Prey, as you Prey, thought. Um, yeah, I, I wonder if they did cross that. Because I, I think it literally got like a three or four from IGN, which yeah. if they have extra weight as well, I thought that would completely like tank it. And then I thought it got eights from other people. I'm impressed. Well done, Prey. You're, well you're done, doing Prey. good. Yeah, I think maybe there definitely was something about Metacritic changing. I just can't remember what game it was. I don't yeah. know if Prey is new enough that it's in my memory that I would remember that. <laughs> I mean, there would have been reviewers that loved it. I bet it did probably get some like high nines as well. Like if, yeah. it, <laughs> if it found the right person. Okay. Right. The next one then. Coming in at 80. Mr. Driller. Good lad, good on That's him. Surprisingly low. Do you think? Oh, I mean, considering that the lowest is seventy, I think eight. You know, eight is. Yeah, the... but I, I guess it got like just loads of straight eights. You know, I bet it didn't yeah, get many yeah. lower than eights. I bet yeah. it just was just eights across the board. Yeah, and then we have uh, Killer Seven at seventy-eight. Then our boy Ty at seventy <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> Poor Ty down under. <laughs> yeah, he's down under. He's down under. Um, so yeah, I mean. <laughs> Any surprises there? I have to say, for me, I was quite surprised. Probably Onimusha the most out of all of those was the one that I was like, that is up there. Yeah. Like Halo Infinite, Death Stranding. I mean, it's, it's, it's that whole level. It's Onimusha and... Uh, like, I'm surprised how high Death Stranding is. I mean, Beyond Good and Evil, um, yeah. but I did know it reviewed well. And then Yoshi's Island, but that's just because it's the Switch release. I was thinking yeah. of, like, back in the day, Metacritic, which yeah, yeah. obviously didn't really exist because the internet hardly Yeah, existed. the internet didn't um, really exist for that. that that's that's my bad. <laughs> um, also, yeah, so World... they're, they're the only real surprises. Yeah, World of Warcraft. I don't know why I thought it was it was going to review really badly. I for some reason in my head I thought because it was a new thing, you know, reasonably new for the mainstream and MMO. People would be like, "All you do is wait in queues, and you can barely play, and the lag is rubbish." And but it did it did very well, so it got nice at ninety three. I do wonder if they've like. That's updated over time. There's been re-reviews and stuff. I do wonder yeah. how how much that was a representation of how it was perceived at launch. Like I reckon that's a bit uh, a bit switched around. I am surprised because uh, I knew um yeah, I'm surprised Skyrim beat out Last of Us Part Two, but I guess they're so close it's kinda not. It really is close. Shocking. <laughs> yeah, it is close. Ninety four yeah. and ninety three. But Metacritic is Do you like... have the um Go on, sorry. Sorry. No go on. I was gonna say, do you have the uh, the user review score for Last of Us Part Two? I can quickly get it now. Hang on, Metacritic, Last of Us Two. Uh, so the user score is it's actually nowhere near as low as I thought it would be. It's at five point seven. Okay, I mean, it's pretty low. Critic, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a go. Considering how great that game is, that is a very low yeah. <laughs> score. Considering the game, it's it's crazy. Like when you hear about journalists doing mock reviews for companies, like companies put so much weight into Metacritic and like what they will give it. Whereas I, I don't, I don't know. It's kind, it's so easy to guess what Metacritic is going to give a game. It's almost worthless at this point. I think. Like it doesn't yeah. shock me. Anymore, I guess it's like know? another <laughs> metric other than sales because I guess they could work out like if there's a game that like reviewed great but sold well, they could be like, oh, it was down to like marketing or release schedule or or something rather than like the game. It shows if there's yeah. a disparity between like Metacritic and sales, they can look at other areas. Whereas yeah. if there's a game that like sells bad and reviews well, they can be like, oh, you know, why did why did it sell well? You know, like. Yeah, I've heard of. I guess um, it's just another stat. <laughs> I've heard of people being employed in America, in Japan, who are American, and their job is like, what do we do to our game to make sure IGN gives it a ten? And they work with the developers <laughs> to like try and think like what Americans like and like stuff like that to try and yeah get them up so they can get off. Yeah, like sending it. suitcases with money. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Don't go I'm down joking. that path. Don't go down that path. I'm, I'm joking. Uh, can I have a um, suggestion? Yes. So I think we should do a part two. Yep. It should be you doing it. We do all of the um the odds, uh, but it's user Metacritic. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to say you have to guess the number. 
Right, but yeah, no, uh, no, yeah, no, we you, do user scores. You're gonna, you, you saying that it's easy to guess Metacritic? I bet it's a lot harder to <laughs> yeah, guess the user one. Be <laughs> that's, the, that's the wild west out I there. I think they're all pretty <laughs> much, I can't imagine anyone, any person that's going to leave a user score on Metacritic ever writing something positive. Like, I can't get into that <laughs> mindset of that person. Like, I'm going to write how much I love this thing. Because people are just like, they want to write stuff they hate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah it'd be like people leave a review if they either absolutely love it or hate it i don't think anyone's doing like well i really enjoyed this bit but then this but you know yeah, like, yeah. who spends the time writing that i actually got this might be a guy i was going to bring it up in one of our podcasts but i might bring it up now yeah i was i was curious because i realized i had a, like a string of like bottom tier games <laughs> that i've been bringing to the table recently <laughs> before so you was, finally um, uh you finally up your game and let us play something good <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> i'm not i'm not i'm not something my trend but i was curious about like who has like brought forward the games of our list that have ended up like higher or lower Ooh. so I, i've worked out so i did this before the skyrim ep- episode we had both s- suggested to add the the same amount of games on the list yeah so i was wondering do you um do you have a guess like who's winning in terms of our personal list of who's picked? Well, actually, don't don't look at the list too much because you could just work it out. Okay. Who who's who's put most games at the top compared to the bottom? And what did you do about games where well, it was kind of a mutual decision? Um, I think I always tied, like, say if it was like, I, like we had two games back to back and it was kind of a joint one. I did it to the one that didn't pick it. But I think like Undertale was technically you. Yeah. Um, I worked it out as. I think I just got to find my notes. Well, I know I that you ago. brought Disco Elysium, so that's quite high. <laughs> I think The Last of Us, they were my picks, really. Well, they were the guest picks, but I kind of picked them and then found guests that wanted to play them. I, I also did work out the uh, the guest score as well. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're a separate thing. <laughs> yeah, the guests, the guests are their own thing. I'm just trying to find my list where I worked it all out. Uh-huh. Right, Nate, you need to bear with me for one moment. I always do. How many notes have you got? <laughs> I've got about three. Oh, so many. They're all like <laughs> they're all like the, the games and stuff. I need to finish Frog Detective. I'm sure I did it as a Oh, wait. Oh no. <laughs> That's best of free score. Right, let's just do so like this thirteen. You know what? Let's just cut it all out. It's gonna take too right. long to work <laughs> all it out. Right. <laughs> Sorry. That's alright. Guess we'll just have to wrap this up then. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Uh, okay, so I might leave, just, I might leave a bit I of that the in. The last thing... <laughs> just said we got something to go on to because I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, so, Joe, after Joe's brought this oh, video dear, to a I screeching need... halt, we're actually going to wrap it up there. I need to organise my notes. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the scientist in like the Godzilla was... film. He's like dropping his notes and like his hairs everywhere. Like no one hey. listens to him. <laughs> I thought I was uh, I was more ready to to bring that up, but uh, yeah, apparently not. Another t- another oh, time, my bad. another time maybe. Um, so yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Sounds like there's going to be another one of these, more user score based. So I guess we'll see another one off. Another one off. I guess we'll see you in that one. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye found the note <laughs> this better be worth note. it so it won't, it won't i mean you know what it is it's just gonna be like a bunch of numbers but um so did my justification i obviously i had meant to mention it in our beyond good and evil podcast so it was yeah. at the bottom of my notes for beyond good and evil yeah. um that's that's why i couldn't find it because i was looking for just the numbers okay just, just yeah, yeah, just yeah yeah okay it's justified okay so you ready so this is the uh the top um the top 13 okay yeah. How many do you games do you reckon you have in the top thirteen? Uh, I think I've got four in the top ten, so maybe five. So I, I have two written down here. <laughs> what in the top ten? <laughs> I, uh, top thirteen. I have two. You have two in the top thirteen. No. I I picked Disco Elysium. Yeah, and I picked before you start claiming that. I picked Doom. I picked Undertale. That's two already. Mr. Drill is number 10. That's three. <laughs> like, you've done this. this you've pulled it up and you've not even done it right. 
<laughs> Let's just let me keep going through. Top thirteen. Oh yeah, no, that is right. But I've got three at least, and I kind of count Last of Us. Wait, wait, so. So, so you picked up well maybe Undertale was technically me then no, I because as I said Undertale. I worked <laughs> that, was, that was a joint pick maybe it lined up Wait, what, what game was that before or after Undertale maybe that was yours because I did it so we picked equal amounts <laughs> so if it was a so I think that was like my turn to pick but that was like a joint one so I think that I think this still adds up okay this is even more and worthless then... than I was worried <laughs> <laughs> we did like quickly start recording again so then i have uh six games in the top 13 right so you've got disco elysium and prey death stranding is that yeah i think that's me that was definitely on my list for games to pick forgotten city and driver were yours weren't they uh yeah yep yeah. so i think you've got five and i've got three because i think undertale was mine. yeah i guess that's as well but i think undertale was technically mine no it's, no, it's not think. technically yours i picked I it. Think it, was a, it was a joint it was a joint thing i had it on my list for games <laughs> i want to do for the podcast I th- and then i think it, it like it it was like a joint one okay, okay well, but we scrapped scra- scra- that though part two and one are mine then because i wanted to do them it just happened to be that i, I, I can't <laughs> guess that wanted to do so technically they're mine. i've done it so we had the equal amount <laughs> like if we both wanted to do it all right go and on, then... carry on with your useless stats What's <laughs> and then and how many do you reckon the guests has in the top 13 uh six five five uh, for the guests so Uber's. i guess if we scrap 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 undertale from me i'm joint with guest and yeah. if we give you undertale then you got three i got five and yeah. guest got five okay have you only done the top if we uh, give you undertale 13. yeah let's hear the bottom 13 so i think yeah so the bottom all... 13 <laughs> How many do you think you got at the bottom 13? Uh, I need to quickly look at the list. Sorry, I know you said not to, but... you got to guess. you got to guess. Just the vibes. Probably four. You got five. Okay. And then I got four. <laughs> and the guest got four. So I'm winning. That's not possible, mate. That is possible. That should add up to, to 26, right? So look, in the bottom, well, I can see from here, Beyond Good and Evil, Harry Potter, Enslaved. And uh, there should be one more. Halo Infinite. Is that bottom 13, yeah? Yeah. Don't forget this is before Skyrim, so you've got to ignore Skyrim would have shifted things. Oh yeah, but it's at 16, so it's only gone down one. Warcraft 2? That's right. Warcraft 2? So that's 6? Is, is, is that bottom 13? Yeah, it's number 15! <laughs> <laughs> Were you drunk when you did this? <laughs> <laughs> like, even looking at the list, you had your eyes shut. I don't know if I completely got it wrong. <laughs> completely got it wrong. I, it's right, because I did that obviously so long ago. And like, if I know, like, mem- like I can't, I can't okay. argue anything or justify it because it's like, I can't remember like doing it or how I worked it out. Let me just say, there's a reason that I pretty much run things around here and you're just a jester. Like, there's a reason <laughs> for this. <laughs> oh, we you're just a jester that, that comes day. in. And- <laughs> Yeah, when like I message something about like something, and you're like, like, dude, like it's not like that. It's always like this, and I'm yeah. like, okay. For, luckily, I'm always on top of these yeah. things. Like, lucky, lucky we have me here to like do this stuff. God. Oh uh, man, this is okay. me. Like, I've just completely hijacked your video. Yeah, that was worth. Uh, sorry. Maybe what? I'll think of something fun to do at the end of the next one. Maybe I'll just make up some stats and tell you you've lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh man please cut these bits around but like leave the bits in just to like show how stupid it was i just got it completely wrong i do what i am gonna double check my workings after not in this, this video though, to be not. fair <laughs> no not in this video there'll be an added segment afterwards <laughs> yeah. back again. we'll keep coming we'll back we'll say bye in the video and it'll be like halfway along the bar on youtube <laughs> Yeah, actually, wait a minute. Yeah. That was the wrong list. Yeah. That was... <laughs> right, okay. Cheers, oh, everyone. Dear. Thanks for sticking around if you did. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, cheers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Undertale was mine. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>